Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for uh, mid-March 2024. We're just going to jump right in here. You have this card that says, you will break free from all that no longer serves you. You also have this card that says, remember, many of the clouds casting shadows aren't real. So I feel that it is time for you to face something. Yes, definitely it is time for you to be brave, bold, assertive. Uh, you know, really go for what you want. The Queen of Wands is all about kind of like following your bliss. Uh, we'll talk about it more in a minute, but she has that sunflower and that sunflower is pointing towards the sun. <laughs> so, you know, your card, Leo, basically, and you need to move towards the sun or towards some sort of inspiration here. The star, the star, you know, is kind of an energy of, you know, inspiration. It represents really like faith, hope, renewal, and, you know, having faith that things are going to work out in your life. But uh, really, it's a card of inspiration. And it's also a card of kind of seeing the big picture as well. And I feel something in this reading kind of more about seeing the big picture or, I, you know, or a need to look at the big picture. <laughs> uh, that's not very helpful, is it? Yeah, look at this. You have this eagle spirit, you know, eagles, they fly very high in the sky and can definitely represent seeing the big picture or, um, you know, getting a bird's eye view. The star represents getting a bird's eye view as well. We'll talk about it. But, you know, I think that um, this is very important for you uh, right here. You know, she has a sunflower right here and the sunflower is about pointing towards the sun. And the sun can represent some sort, sort of like goal, wish, dream, you know, something that you see as important that you want to accomplish. It's usually something inspirational, but, you know, it's like something that inspires you, you know, something that you want to take action on, something that you want to do, be, have, create in your life. And so I think now would be an amazing time for you to move towards things that you want to create in your life. Uh, I also, uh, the interesting thing here is that she has this black cat right here and you have this black cat card, which I'll show you in a minute, but the black cat and the tarot, you know, during the times of tarot, the black cats were considered very unlucky. Uh, but the whole point of the black cat is that she doesn't care what people think. And sorry, my alarm is, uh, my alarm is going off, but, um, you know, she doesn't care what people think. That's the whole point. And she just does things that she wants to do. And I feel like that's what, um, the black cat is saying for you as well. Uh, you have the Seven of Cups as your crossing energy. It's, it's like, I think that you need to believe in all the possibilities here, Leo. It's, you know, maybe you are judging things from a certain perspective, which is like your older perspective, you know, like how things used to be in your life. And, you know, we're in a time of great change. We have Pluto going into Aquarius as well. And, you know, even over the next couple of years, we're going to have uh, Neptune moving out of Pisces. We're going to have Uranus moving out of Pisces. So we have like a lot of energy and also Saturn as well, by the way, over the next few years, right? And, you know, b b pretty much all uh, between 2025, you know, 2025, end of 2025 into 2026. So, you know, big time of change, especially when these big planets are all pretty much moving at once and, um, you know, all moving into uh, the next sign and, you know, all this other stuff. So, you know, again, we're in this time of change and things are very different, especially, you know, Pluto is generational. So, you know, what I would say here is I feel like you need to realize that it's like you can't compare you know, your future to your past, really. <laughs> uh, you know, I think that it, it, it's like things are going to be a very different for you. And I, I think that you need to believe that because again, it's like some of the things that I think are maybe preventing your success, Leo, are you saying like, oh, this won't work out because of this or saying, oh, it's not possible because of this. But it's like, those are all old world things. You're, you're in a new world, whether you realize it or not, right? And you watch me throw cards professionally. So, you know, that's what I'll say there. But in the area of your thoughts, you have these seven of wands. And seven of wands is a card of conviction. It says, when you know that you know that something can be successful for you, that's when it will truly be successful. So it's a card of, you know, having very deep beliefs, beliefs that you can accomplish something or do something or have something that you want in your life. And so it's really important that we believe things very deeply with the seven of wands and that we believe that we can accomplish the things that we want to accomplish. You have the king of pentacles and king of pentacles is about kind of, this is showing up in your foundation, by the way. And the king of pentacles is about having a solid financial uh, foundation actually. So a really good card. Now I have the hiccups, a really good card for your foundation. And, you know, it says that you have a strong financial foundation or you could be working on 
you know, building a strong financial f- foundation and, and it says that you are doing it. So, you know, again, pretty good energy for uh, for having in this uh, foundational place in the reading. It also says that you have certain skills, like he has these grapes on his cloak and grapes in the tarot represent having a skill or being good at something. And, uh, but you know, again, he needs to express that skill. He, uh, the King of Pentacles in particular, he has a skill, but he, ha- he has to also be using it. So, you know, I feel like you have to use your skills. In the area of the past, you have the Eight of Swords, thank God, <laughs> for the past, like, since I've started this channel, you know, almost 10 years ago now, uh, you got the Eight of Swords with me since, like, day one. And the Eight of Swords is only seeing one way of doing things. So I feel like you need to realize that there are many ways to do everything that you could possibly imagine in your life. And the Eight of Swords is about setting yourself free. You know, the Eight of Swords, she only, the lady on the card here, she only sees one way of doing things. And again, there are many ways to do everything that she wants to do. And so I feel that this is saying that you are kind of like opening up to other ways of doing things. You have this unicorn, it says good fortune and friendship. You have this black cat, it says your luck will change soon. So I feel like it's a, now is like a lucky time for you. And you know, this has been a pretty lucky set of readings, I would say. There have been some, There's you know, there's no doubt that there have been some uh, challenges and, you know, things that have shown up for pretty much everyone. But what I would say is that most people have had very luck, you know, have had some sort of luck showing up in their readings or have had a card that talks about luck. So there could be, you know, now is a lucky time is what I will say. You have the star, probably your most important card here uh, as well. This right here is a ibis, this bird right here. And it kind of represents getting a bird's eye view. You know, the ibis is the bird of knowledge and wisdom. So it's all about getting a bird's eye view so you can gain wisdom and knowledge over what you are trying to do in your life. The star is about having a goal, like having a North Star or a guiding light. So I feel for a lot of you that you are working on either a big project or you're working on something bigger at this time. I also get something here, you know, this right here is the pool of universal consciousness and she's pouring this water into the pool of universal consciousness and those ripples are basically going out into the universe. So I feel for a lot of you, it, it's kind of like the universe has is, has listened to you. <laughs> or I'm not sure what message I'm getting here, Leo, if I'm being honest. I, at first I was like, oh, the universe has listened to you. I thought that was the message I'm getting, but you know, it's like it's almost like you've told the universe something and the universe is answering your prayer. Maybe you've um, you know put in the work to improve your business or uh, improve your life in some way or to you know do whatever. And you know, I kind of feel like that's what's going on here. Uh, you have this angelic help. Here you go. It says, your angels are blessing you with new opportunities. Your angels are assisting you. Know you will be provided for. Again, I kind of feel, I felt that. I, I didn't even see that card, but I was getting something about answered prayers or something like that. So maybe you've been praying for something in your life and it's like you're actually getting it. You have the science card. It says, keep an open mind. There's something unfolding for you. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm going to end it right there. I feel that you need to keep an open mind because again, I think your reading is very simple here, Leo. I think that the le- the reading itself is just saying that you have an old life and a new life. And, you know, again, if you're comparing your old life to your new life, it's not going to make sense. And also, if you're comparing your old life to your new life, it's not going to make sense. Both directions, right? So I feel like you need to understand that you're in a completely different energy. The rules have changed. The rules of the universe or whatever. And things are going to work differently for, for you now. So I think that you just need to try new things, especially in work or career or business, but also in love. We have a little bit of love showing up in this reading without even clarifying. And we are going to clarify in just a minute. But, you know, again, I, I kind of feel like this reading itself is saying the rules have changed and you need to realize it, right? <laughs> uh, you have the Knight of Wands in the area of the next few months, which is a perfect card based off of everything that I just said. Knight of Wands about exploring, and it could represent exploring new rules, you know, exploring new ways of doing things, um, you know, going on the adventure of life, you know, seeing where the wind blows you. And I kind of feel that you could be a little bit more in that kind of adventurous type of energy, which is great. I think, you know, I, I would definitely recommend that you get into that uh, adventurous type of, you know, exciting, you know, uh, type of energy here. Because again, I feel like there could be a lot of success coming in for you if if you get into that type of energy. The Knight of Wands, he's very spontaneous. He kind of goes where the wind blows him, but that also makes him very successful or could if he, if he takes advantage of it. So he kind of follows his inspirations. And you start with that Queen of Wands with the Sunflower basically saying, follow your inspirations. In the area of your closest relationships, you have the Strength card. 
Uh, or sorry, the um, <laughs> the strength card. What the hell am I talking about here, Leo? Sorry, I woke up at two o'clock in the morning this morning, so I'm a little bit you know out of it. But what I would say here is you have the Hierophant. The Hierophant can represent marriage. So I feel for a lot of you that there could be love coming in for you. This is showing up in the area of your closest relationships. And you have the Page of Cups as well. So the Page of Cups can be a general admirer. Uh, you know, it could be any sign, uh, but you do you get water with me a lot. Could be a water sign, and uh, could be an air sign, or could be a earth sign. Stands out to me as well. Really, you have all four. You have fire as well. So you know, again, it could be any sign that's coming in for you. I kind of feel like you are attracting people who are kind of on the same path as you as well. He, the Hierophant, is initiating these two people in front in the front of the card. There, he is initiating them into a belief system. And it doesn't have to be a belief system, but you could just be finding more people who you resonate with um, over the next few months, not even just right now. You know, I, I kind of feel that maybe this entire year you could be, um, you know, meeting new people or you could be finding yourself surrounded with people who kind of just more align with you and who you are. And I feel this is actually very important for you, Leo, because I feel like it's going to feel very uplifting. I feel like it's going to kind of, you know, your like ideas will be supported, which is probably going to make you more successful. And it just seems like something that is going to lead to uh, more success. You have the page of swords in the area of your future feelings, very much more curious and open. I think that getting away from the eight of swords energy, um, is kind of going to make you more curious about, it's like once you kind of like open up and you say, okay, what I've been doing my whole entire life hasn't been working. I'm going to try something else. Once you try something else and it works, I think your brain is going to be like, oh, you know, what else can I do? What what other ideas can I discover? So I kind of see you being in a very kind of like playful, more, um, you know, curious, childlike questioning type of energy, which is a good thing. You know, again, I think that now is a time of curiosity. Definitely, definitely with, um, you know, Pluto going into Aquarius, I would be curious about anything new. It's pretty simple. Aquarius is all about innovation. So, you know, any, any, and, but this doesn't have to be like some sort of like Elon Musk, you know, super genius, uh, innovative idea, right? This could just be you innovating in your own life, coming up with your own ideas, coming up with your own, um, you know, new ways of doing things in your life. And if you do that, you'll be very successful. You have the page of cups here and the page of cups could be like some sort of love offer coming in for you. So if you're looking for love, I definitely feel there's an admirer around you. You've been getting an, like an admirer with me for weeks now. So, <laughs> you know, wouldn't surprise me if there was a person coming in for you. Uh, if this is not love, this could be some sort of dream. He is looking at that fish in that cup. And I always say that fish might not exist. We don't actually know. That fish might be part of his dream or something that he's dreaming of. And again, a lot of you could be working towards a dream clearly with the star. You have this eagle spirit. It says spirit has your back. Clearly, your it's like your prayers are being answered here a little bit. I don't think that's like totally true. That's not really the message I'm getting, but it's something like that. Like with the star card, I feel like you have told the universe you want something. The universe is responding. But is it? it's like, are you getting everything you want? No. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think that the universe is, wants you to be curious. It's like, I, I don't think we just get things in life. Of course not. You know, but you have the knight of wands and the page of swords. So it's like the universe is, is putting you on a path. It's like putting you on a journey. So I hope that makes sense. You have this mouse spirit says, tend to the small things. Yes, keep, um, you know, pay attention to the small details. I would also keep things simple. It seems to me like the simple answer is the answer right now. So I would just pay attention to that. It's funny because I did a reading a couple weeks ago. I can't remember who it was for or whatever, but I was saying, you know, basically the same thing that the simple answer is the answer. And I was talking about a bias. There's a, there's a bias believe, and I couldn't, I couldn't remember what it was called and you're not going to believe it, but it's uh, pretty freaking simple. It's called the complexity bias. And you know, basically us humans, we look for complex answers. And, you know, I feel like all the readings have been saying to everyone, that the simple answer is the answer. So it's like anything you're trying to do, don't try to make things overly complicated. Uh, with the Here we go. With the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups, you have the Knight of Wands. Yes, I really feel, like I said a minute ago, that this is the energy. If you could be in this energy of being curious, looking into new ideas, um, you know, just having fun and following your inspirations, I think that that is going to lead you in a new direction. It might be a little uncomfortable because you'll probably have to be spontaneous. Uh, you'll probably have to be flexible, but in, you'll, you're going to have to learn new things. But if you do this, I feel like you are going to be very successful. With the Seven of Wands, you have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard. So anything you can do to, um, 
you know, work would be a good idea, but also I think that you need to make sure that you learn how to play. I feel like work is changing for Leo big time. Like out of all the signs, I think that you are one of the main signs that is probably going to experience the biggest shift in work over the next, you know, I don't know, whatever, however many years. So does that mean you're going to quit your job? Not necessarily. You know, some of you will, some of you won't. But, you know, what I do feel is that your work is going to change. So even if you stay at the same job, there are probably going to be some big changes. Why is this so important? Well, I would say because of the Hierophant right here. I think that the Leos who educate themselves and learn as much as they possibly can about these changes are going to be very successful. I always tell a story. I have a friend his dad works in technology and it's like, uh, he, and has been working in technology for, I don't know, a million years, right? The guy is like, you know, 70 years old or whatever. <laughs> I, I actually have no clue how old he is, but he's old. And, um, you know, he's been working with computers and in, in, in the computer industry. And it's like every single year he talks about how all these people around him get fired, but he doesn't, right? And so, you know, it's pretty well known in the industry that as you get older, what they do is they fire the old people, right? And they, because they, you know, these young guys that come in, they can hire for like half the amount of money and they know more than the older people but my friend's dad is constantly learning he is constantly educating himself he is constantly growing and learning more about the industry they can't afford to fire him because he's like a freaking encyclopedia about everything that exists in his job like every little thing that goes on right so uh you know i i think i probably told you this story before but again it's like that's this type of energy right here it's like if you can you know, if you can make yourself so valuable and he get he makes an absolute fortune. So, you know, what I would say here is if you can make yourself valuable in what you're doing, uh, then they can't afford to fire you, right? Even if the robots do take over. So, you know, I would start working on that, whatever that means for you. With the King of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands says, don't give up. I feel like you have dreams about finances, like ideas, plans, goals, you know, uh, you know, those moments where you say, wouldn't it be nice if I could live on a beach and sip pina coladas all day, right? Uh, and I think the Nine of Wands saying, if, you, if that's what you want, don't give up on it. You can accomplish whatever you want here with the star. You know, you're gonna have to put the work in, but it's possible. With the Eight of Swords, you have the Seven of Cups. Again, I feel it's quite simple that the Seven of Cups is saying that there are new options that exist because of the changes that are happening in the world. And instead of looking at these as scary things, you know, like, oh, there's something new I have to learn, I would look at this in as an opportunity and an opportunity to learn. I think that will lead to a lot of success for you. With the star, you have the justice card. I, I do feel like there is like karmic justice coming in for a lot of you, as in, you know, if you've been experiencing challenges or difficulties in your life or you know, if you've been experiencing obstacles or things haven't been working out for you, I do feel like things are now going to be improving. And I, like, I see a lot of progress coming in for you as well. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you have the High Priestess. High Priestess is about trusting your intuition. So I feel like you need to listen to your inner voice with that Knight of Wands because it won't steer you wrong. The funny thing is the High Priestess is a card of mystery. You know, it can represent secrets or mysteries, but she has this, uh, this tapestry behind her here. And uh, what is behind her? We have no freaking clue. So I feel that you have to find out. <laughs> the High Priestess, she represents unlimited potential. There's no roof over her head. And so there are no limits to what she can accomplish. The only thing that's stopping her is her. So, you know, she is truly the card of potential. And that's really what she represents other than intuition. And so I feel for a lot of you that this is basically saying that you need to tap into that potential. She also can represent seeing the beginning, middle, and end of something. She has the three stages of the moon right here on her head, on her crown. And well, those are three stages of the moon. There's more than three stages of the moon, but you know, it kind of just represents the fact that she sees the beginning, middle, and end of every situation that she enters into before she enters into it. That does not mean intuitively. She visualizes how she wants something to go before she does it. <laughs> and so I think that now would be an amazing time for you to visualize. And again, by the way, I, the reason I couldn't sleep last night is because we have, anytime we have one of these crazy moons, I can't sleep. We have this uh, Pisces new moon right now. Today's uh, March 10th. So this Pisces new moon, amazing time for manifestation. Like if you want to manifest, you uh, this will come out on the 11th, doesn't matter. You're still in the energy. So you know, over the next couple of days, I would use that, um, you know, I would use that energy to manifest as much as possible. With the high, uh, the Hierophant, I almost just said the High Priest, but the Hierophant, which he is the High Priest, by the way. And the, by the way, you have divine counterparts here. You know, this to me is better than the Emperor and the Empress, the, the uh, High Priestess and the Hierophant, 
because to me they are like that's like a very spiritual connection and so there definitely could be a spiritual connection coming in for you could be a libra as well uh, with the higher fin you have the six of swords like i said i kind of feel like you're eliminating eliminating some people from your life and uh, going to others i think a lot of people are doing this right now it just seems to be like what what's happening right with the page of swords you have the eight of pentacles Eight of Pentacles, like work hard and getting results in the future. I always say it's material success on the horizon. So if you are, have been putting in a lot of work into whatever, uh, I feel like there could be a lot of gold with what you're doing. Um, you know, so love it. Uh, I always think of, you know, the, speaking of my friend's dad, by the way, <laughs> you know, I always think of people, like people always come to me when I, when I like if I tell that story and they say, well, I just got fired and I'm 60 years old. I'm like, yeah, but you know, you know what would be amazing is like you, I'm sure there's opportunities for you to share your knowledge, like on something like YouTube, you have so much knowledge, you have so much wisdom that you could share, which could potentially make you money. So I always tell people like in that situation, don't let, you know, what do they say? There's like a song where they say a, a mind is a dangerous thing to waste, right? And that's kind of like uh, popping into my head here with the Eight of Pentacles that your mind is a dangerous thing to waste. So I feel like no matter what's going on in your life, there are there is gold that exists in your knowledge and you just have to find a way to share it, get it out there to teach it or get another job or something. That That's gonna be for someone out there. Uh, with the Page of Cups, you have the um, the King of Cups. Definitely could be attracting a King of Cups type person. Wouldn't surprise me if it was a water sign. I know so many water sign Leo couples. It's like Leo always loves to tell me how um, you know uh, water doesn't work with Leo. I'm like, I know so many successful Leo Pisces, Leo Cancer, Leo whatever, Scorpio, you know, or Leo with a person who has a ton of water in their chart. So it's like, I know so many couples um, where it works. So again, I'm not telling you what to do. You can do whatever you want to do. It, you know, it doesn't matter, but... What I would say here is definitely uh, could be a water sign. It could also just be someone who is like very emotionally stable, very secure, you know, has their head on straight, that type of deal. But um, uh, let's see what is going on here for you. You have this assertion card. Uh, I like we started the reading with the Queen of Wands. I think that now is the time for you to be bold, assertive, and really go for what you want. Uh, you have this uh, order card. So I feel like you're bringing order to things. You have that mouse spirit as well. So I think it'd be a great time to get organized, organize things, um, you know, organize things in your home. I myself, like I'm, I'm doing spring cleaning today. So, you know, it, it, and like I said, it's only March 10th. So, you know, I think it's a great time to like, especially with this new moon to like clear out energy, get things out. And even if you're watching this after, we have the eclipse. I think eclipses are a great time to get rid of junk, to get rid of stuff, to clear things out. So, you know, now would be the time. Uh, you have this endurance card. Yeah, don't give up. You have the nine of wands, like whatever you want or whatever your dream is, even if you're like 90 years old, like I said, you know, I think that now is the time to accomplish something great. Like I really feel that it doesn't matter what's going on, how old you are, like none of those limitations matter. And the reason I'm saying this is that there's something here. It's like, it's weird to me that it doesn't show up. Like normally I would have to see the five of pentacles, for example, is a card of limit, like the type of limitations that I'm talking about here. But it's like, I, I get that sense, but I feel like this reading is saying there are no limitations. Maybe that's why it's not showing up in the reading <laughs> because it's like saying the limitation in your mind doesn't exist. You need to keep going. You are very close to accomplishing something. You have this influence card. Yeah, I tell everyone that if you're getting into a relationship that's super positive or if you're in a relationship right now that's super positive, protect that relationship from negative influences. Like if you have people in your life that are like hating on the on relationships or that are miserable or just uh, hate people in general or anything like that, I would be super careful of those types of people. You know, especially again, if you're in something positive, you know, so I've heard too many stories over the years of people that have like had relationships ruined by other people that were positive. So I would make sure that if you're in something positive, you're you protect it. The other weird thing that I've been getting a lot as well is, um, you know, it's shown up for a lot of people that you could be dealing with a person like their ex comes in and like ruins it. Like maybe they message you a lie or something like that. So no, no like third party information, go directly to the source, right? Uh, you have this authority card. I feel like some of you could be becoming an authority here or you could be stepping up into an authority position. And I feel that would be really good for you as well. But this looks really positively. I love where this is going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.